building an indie business in the center of venture capital. I am Alex Edmonds. People on the internet call me Supreme Rum Ham, and this is the Building an Indie Business podcast recorded in the Indie Business Studio. Okay, sometimes the words get jumbled in my mouth because I like mumble them. Anyways, today's podcast episode is about my mistake selling one of my domains, careercheatcodes.com. Yes, that is the domain. Okay, so um, I bought this domain. I saw that it was expired on one of the websites that I look for at, um, you know, for expired domains, basically. You know, it, if you're interested in that, I did an episode on it, whatever. Um, okay, and so I was looking... This is one of the first domains that I bought, expired, right? So I'm trying to figure out how to sell this domain. I'm putting it on different platforms, different prices, things like that. And then I started frequenting these forums, these like domain name selling, buying, trading forums, right? And uh, there's one section of these forums, which is like, $1 $1 auctions. And it's not that you're selling them for $1. It's that the auction starts at $1 and then people have like 24, 48, 72 hours to keep bidding on the domains. And then hopefully it reaches a reasonable price, right? So um I did that um for careercheatcodes.com and then Um, no one bid on it, right? I'm, cause I'm thinking like a lot of these domains or these expired domains have value when I buy them cause I didn't know how to properly research them. So I just checked hrefs and it was like, oh, this domain has a lot of value. Um, but it's a lot of spam and that's the problem with expired domains is that you could be buying uh, a domain that has a lot of spam and then what happens is that Once the domain sells, it gets removed uh, from those websites that are spam. So then the the domain loses authority because it loses backlinks. And honestly, I I do this with the domains I'm selling too because I put them on, you know, I put them on my personal website. I put them on the podcast website. I put them in the show notes and that adds value. And then as soon as I'm done with it, uh, the domain, I take it off the podcast website and then it loses some authority. So anyways, um, so I did this dollar, um, transaction or this dollar auction for, um, careercheatcodes.com and, um, no one bid on it. And so I left it there thinking, okay, maybe it takes a couple days to get started and then a weeks go by and it no one bids on it. Then finally one person bids on it, right? Cuz I left it there and I hadn't sold it yet. So um I kind of left it there and was like, okay, maybe I should push a little more and then tell the guy that I don't have the domain, right? I sold it. Um but that didn't happen and finally like a couple weeks later I was like, "Hey, uh, you get the domain, you win. Um, so I had to sell the domain for a dollar, right? Um, yeah, so that sucks. That was my mistake. Luckily, though, I didn't have to pay the full, like, you won this at an auction, an expired domain auction price. I, I missed the auction, but no one bid on it because it didn't have a lot of value, right? Um, and that I only had to pay the pork bun fee for like a new domain, but it still had all the value from it. Right. So yeah, that's the mistake I made. I'm done with dollar auctions and I know how to research a domain a little better to see if it has value. So yeah, that's my mistake. Uh, hopefully you learned something. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Bye.